गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर टॉपिक ऑफ थियोरी ऑफ मशीन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वाट गवर्नर सो वट इज वाट गवर्नर ऑब्वियसली आई हैव डिस्कस्ड विथ यू इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वट इज द क्लासिफिकेशन इन द क्लासिफिकेशन अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ गवर्नर सो इन दैट यू हैव गॉन थ्रू दैट वाट गवर्नर इज अ टाइप ऑफ सेंट्रफ्यूगल गवर्नर सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव रिटर्न यर इट इज द सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ सेंट्रफ्यूगल गवर्नर विच इज बेसिकली अ कॉनिकल पेंडुलम which links with links attached to sleep of negligible mass that means the mass here being attached that are of negligible amount and uh, it is simply just like as you can also see that by the diagram it is simply just like a, looking like a pendulum that is conical pendulum so in the previous class i have also discussed with the governor uh, figure arrangement so through that we have gone through that these are the links and these are the uh, fly balls and these are the slips and uh, uh, this is the slip and uh, uh, these are the links so and uh, these two points are arms so we know that the upper point that is the from the pivot to the center of the fly balls that distance will be h and this will be the radius that will be the fly ball center to the slip uh, middle of the slip that will be the slip uh, distance that distance will be known as radius so now uh, when we are going to solve uh, through this what governor so let us first consider the abd of this ball while considering the abd we are going to that the ball is connected through a link that means a tie so obviously there will be tension one first point we can consider the second one will be the slip weight of the ball and since this arms are moving outward and downward that means like a half circle or rotational motion so definitely this ball will have a centrifugal force so let us draw the abd of the fly ball so the abd of this will be look like this that will be the tensor acting at this rod the centrifugal force it will be acting downward and the slip weight of the ball that will be downward w so here t is uh, the tension is denoted by t weight is denoted by w and the centrifugal force is denoted by f c so now uh, for solving uh, the watt governor or the for finding out the values so we have to take uh, that pi but p is here denoted as the pi but and o is the point there so don't confuse with that p will be the pi but and o is the point out there so now taking a moment along point o so now taking the moment so now uh, for calculating the height of the governor we have to take moment about point o so we are now taking about point o this is the point o so while taking moment about point o what we have uh, gone through our previous lectures or during our previous same say in the subject mechanics that we have uh, already discussed how to calculate the moment so while taking the moment we take that point Uh, what are the forces acting through that point so if we go through that we can see that a point force f is acting and another force that self weight is acting so the we know that for taking moment we have a formula for the moment that will be the force into perpendicular distance so for for the centrifugal force the perpendicular distance will be height h so that's why you have written fc into h equals to or you can write as negative sign since it is uh, rotating in this direction and this is rotating in clockwise direction one is clockwise one is anti clockwise so both sign will be in reverse order one will be taken as positive another one will be taken as negative so if you will write uh, in equal to sign that we can uh, directly put both the sign as positive that's why i have written in this way so the force the centrifugal force fc the height will be h that is written as fc into h and for the self weight the vertical that will be the perpendicular distance will be this radius that's why i have written as w into r so uh, that's why it is written as fc into h equals to w into r once again i am repeating how this is used we have to take moment along point o and for that we have two forces acting through that point that one is f uh, acting perpendicular or outward from that point that one first one is fc another one is w since t is along that point the tension and we don't have any perpendicular distance for tension so we will not consider that tension we will only consider uh, those forces which is having perpendicular distance through that point 
सो थ्रू पॉइंट ओ एज वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग मोमेंट थ्रू पॉइंट ओ हैव परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस थ्रू पॉइंट ओ ओनली वी हैव टू फोर्सेस दैट इज एफ सी एंड डब्ल्यू सो फॉर एफ सी द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस विल बी एच सो द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इट इज रिटर्न एज एफ सी इन टू एच दैट इज फोर्स इन टू परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस एंड इन द राइट हैंड साइड इट इज रिटर्न एज weight self weight that is w into perpendicular distance r that is w into r since both are written as positive sign because both are written is other side that is left hand side right hand side if both will be written in one side of equal sign then one we will have to take one as positive another one as negative so now while solving this i hope you understand this line so now uh, solving this we can get the force fc that is a centrifugal force the formula of centrifugal force is m omega square into r and in place of h we directly put that h and in uh, place of w that is the weight so we can uh, write the formula the weight equals to m into g and again in place of r directly write i r so we can easily cancel out m and m and we can cancel out r and r so we can uh, on solving we get h equals to g by w square or rather it is not w this is omega square so on solving we know the value of g that is 9.81 and omega is angular speed so angular speed we already know the formula of angular speed that will be 2 pi capital n by 60 and since here is a square so we will take here also square on solving we get 895 by n square that will be given in meter where what is n n will be the governor speed that will be taken in arm so for calculating height of a watt governor what we require we simply require the governor speed we if we get the governor speed we can use this formula or we can calculate the height of a governor so i hope you understand this uh, whole mechanism or whole uh, solution part nonetheless if you have any query then you can ask me in uh, comment section or you can ask me by a call or whatsapp anywhere so now uh, for better understanding let us take an example or uh, let us solve a numerical based on what governor so this is a simple numerical based on watt governor what is given calculate the vertical height of a watt governor you have to calculate the vertical height and when it rotates at 60 rpm so we have given the speed of the governor that is 60 rpm again point is given that also find the change in vertical height when its speed increases to 61 rpm so here we get two speed that is n1 60 rpm n2 61 rpm we have to calculate the vertical height when the rotates at 60 rpm and when it speed increases that means when the speed uh, raises to 61 rpm we have to find the change in vertical height so let us calculate the height uh, when the speed at 60 rpm we will simply put the formula h1 equals to 895 by n1 square so while putting this formula 895 by in place of n1 we will put 60 60 square that will be 0.248 meter again while solving uh, through n2 we will see again put this uh, same formula that will be h2 equals to 895 by n2 square 895 by 61 square that will provide us 0.24 meter now we have to calculate the change in vertical height also so the change in vertical height h will be given by h1 minus h2 that will be 0.248 minus 0.24 and that will provide to 0.008 meter or rather you can write it as 8 mm so this is the best simple numerical we have to simply put this formula and uh, face the data from the question and simply put solve you will get the answer i hope you all understand what is what governor and also the numerical based on what governor thank you thank you for your attention